Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have this two perfume, that is Pink Sugar, Pink Sugar by Aquilina, and this one, Angel by Mugler, and you do not like them for whatever reason whatsoever, try layering the two of them together and see what it gives you. This is how I currently wear these two perfumes because on their own, I do not like them for various reasons, which I'm going to get into in this review. Um, I was advised by, I think his name is, I think his name is sense of Virgo moon on instagram he advised me to like layer the two of them exactly and see what it gives and this two combo they actually give what they're supposed to give exactly and now i love using the two of them together first off let me get into the review first of all and tell you guys what i don't like about the two perfumes this is angel by mugler for the longest time i've been wanting to get this perfume because i'm a huge fan of the adverts they have like this ice cream vibe to it some will say like it's icy stars or whatever basically but to me it was giving ice cream vibes and i'm a huge fan of ice creams but of course i could not get it because this is quite expensive really so what pushed me to actually finally get this was um when when the designer of this perfume collaborated with kim kardashian to the Met gala and she wore that dress that she wore which in my opinion was iconic that was the highlight of the Met gala for that year for me because that dress was giving everything that it was supposed to give and I went out and I purchased this. I think this one cost me like 50,000 Naira, I think, when I got it, 2000, 2021. I think that was last year when I got this perfume. Last year. It cost me like 50k to get this perfume. And I really, really loved it when I first, first of all tried it. This opens with like this icy, sweet, cool, mentholated vibe. That's what it gives. It gives me the vibe as if you're walking into a luxury home like there's one of my friends that lives on the island in Ikoi he has money he's quite rich the smell of the smell of his house the vibe that his house gave that whole icy cool sweet mentholated Makwandiaibo vibes I think do you know who we have I spat <laughs> do you know who we have vibes that is the same vibe that this perfume gives me in the opening and I really really loved it when I first tested this perfume the weather was quite cold it was like rainy season and it was giving what it was supposed to to give it was everything to me unfortunately when the rainy season departed and the heat was back i live in sokoto and temperatures can get up to like 40 degrees centigrade get about uh, even 45 degrees worst case scenario when i tested this in high heat this thing smelled of dry stale urine it reeked of urine in the open and i was like has this perfume gone bad then i was still new to perfumes and in my opinion i felt the perfume had gone bad until I went to Fragrantica and I saw people complaining that the patchouli in here is a disaster. To some people, it smelled like cat's piss. To me, this just smelled like dry, stale urine from a human being. That is what this thing smelled like in high heat. So, most times whenever I wear it, whenever I dare to wear it, I have to like spray it on my clothing. Let the clothing sit for like 30 minutes for that whole urine smell, stink, to like die down before I leave the house. And that's the reason why I don't wear this perfume regularly. This dent that you see in this perfume right now is not me wearing the perfume. It is me trying like various combinations to see what works as mix it with other perfumes, layer it, stick it in the freezer, expose it to high heat, as in try different things to see how I can like kill that patchouli in here. But on more, the patchouli in here is strong and it smells quite animalic, fecal or whatever you want to call it. So that's the main issue that I had with this perfume. The notes for the perfume there it comes with quite a lot of notes but the only thing that i get from here like i said it had like this icy sweet cool mentholated vibe i get musk i get caramel in here i get chocolate that chocolate in here i also get jasmine but not really that much and then re recently I, I started to get like licorice notes in this perfume they dry down in like this sweet musky patchouli infused dry down longevity i think this gives me like 24 hours thereabouts when i tested this perfume last year i did like i think i did three sprays in my elbow i was getting like 24 hours longevity for the for this perfume i'll have to check my notes and confirm again but um yeah when it comes to projection i don't think this really projects to be honest i don't think it does from my own or maybe i'm going nose blind to you but it doesn't really project but on clothing this last days days on clothing so it's quite beast mode on clothing so um, let's move into the next perfume. So this one here is Pink Sugar by Aquilina. I got this perfume because I wanted cotton candy. Everybody says that it smells like cotton candy. And as someone who loves command perfumes, 
that's the main reason why I went ahead and I got this perfume. It doesn't come, come with the cap because that's where like the tester, the tester bottles they come. They don't come with the cap basically. I went in, bought this perfume, and on first spray, like sorry, and when I smelt it through the nozzle, this thing smelled like as if lemon baked goodies. It reminds me of Casa Moratti's Lira. I've not tried that perfume before, but I have the perfume oil. That is what this thing reminds me of Casa Moratti's Lira, like lemon baked goods. Unfortunately, when you smell, when you spray it rather, you don't get lemon baked goodies. What you get is like a heavy, heavy dose of woody licorice. That is what I get from this perfume, and that's why I don't like this perfume. The licorice smells medicinal, it is too much, it is too in your face, and that's the reason why I don't I don't wear it. Again, this dent you are seeing in this perfume is not me using it, it is me testing various things to see whether I can kill the licorice in this perfume. So with angel, patchouli is stressing me out and for pink sugar the licorice in here is stressing me out this is, is an edt but rest assured that on what this thing lasts it really really lasts a long time especially on clothing on skin you can get up to like eight to ten hours there about on skin on clothing expect like two three days there about on clothing it really really lasts but then again eventually um aside from that heavy licorice woody licorice note that i that i used to get here i said to get like this creamy nuances from it as well too and but the small sugar there about that but that whole cotton candy by which i bought the perfume from i never got it up to today now the main highlight of this review i took these two perfumes together and i then layered it according to like i said um scents of vego moon's recommendation and what i got from this is <laughs> quite fantastic this combination cancels out the negatives of these two perfumes when you layer these two perfumes together, the licorice in here gets subdued and the patchouli in here gets subdued. That is, that urinary, that patchouli that smells like urine gets subdued. So you subdue the patchouli and the licorice and everything just smells very, very nice. The dry down for these two perfumes smells more like angel without that patchouli notes. So it's kind of like, these two perfumes kind of like smell similar when you layer them together. Don't know if that makes sense. So in the dry down, what I get in the dry down, combining these two perfumes is more of angel without that nasty patchouli. That's what I get. So I advise you guys, if you don't like the, these two perfumes, try and layer them together and see what you get. Some of you are expecting me to review Monstera's, um, what am I saying? That Montera Instant Love. Unfortunately, when I was, when I sat down to film that review and I sprayed that Instant Love, I was not getting what I was getting when I first tested it, it was now it had, it had turned woody on my skin. So I don't know whether my nose is smelling, whether I have the flu or something. Something is wrong somewhere. I don't know. Probably the smell of the perfume has changed. I don't know. So that is what I want to like sit down, investigate before I do that review. Because most times with these Arabian perfumes, these Middle Eastern perfumes, what you get the first day you spray it might not be what you will get after like one month, two months. It will change completely as if it has macerated and has changed vibes. So probably maybe that is what is going on going on with, with that perfume right now i don't know so i have to chill wait a little bit extra and then give you guys a review but not to worry that review is going to come up very very soon so don't forget to please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video take care guys bye